when we talk about an ideal inductor it is a purely reactive device it do not have any resistance what it has is only inductive reactance a position offered by a pure inductor is to change in the current and not to the flow of electrons like resistance but that is the ideal case or perfect case in practical situation this is not true inductors are made up of wire which is wrapped around a solid core which can also be made up of iron if no core is used then it is said to be an air core now all the wires or the conducting material consist of some measurable amount of resistance since the inductor is also made up of wire it will also have some resistance along with the inductive reactance this internal resistance acts like it is connected in series with the inductor now since the resistance is introduced this practical inductor will not only oppose the change in current but it will also oppose to the flow of current to some extent and which is not at all accepted from the inductor it's supposed to only oppose the change in current and this practical opposition is no more only the inductive reactance we need to call it by a more comprehensive term which is impedance and this is the problem one when ac supply is given to an inductor an alternating magnetic field is developed this magnetic field may radiate off into space as a part of an electromagnetic wave this amount of uh, the wave it can increase if the supply frequency is also high this radiated energy does not return to the inductor and it is basically translated as a power dissipation that is nothing but the resistance and this is one more problem by the way have you seen the easiest courses i have created on electrical machines if not do check them out as it is already helping many students to clear the concepts and i am sure it will also help you you can join these easy to understand courses using our website or the mobile app which is available for android as well as ios devices i'll provide link for that down in the description you can go and check it out another problem with practical inductor is that we have seen initially inductors are made up of wires which are wrapped around a solid core now generally the core is made up of iron and once the alternating magnetic field is generated this field tends to induce circulating current within the iron core we call it as ad current i have a detailed video explaining about what is ad current i'll give link for that video down in the description you can go and check it out for more details this ad currents are basically opposed by the resistance of the core which is for sure higher than that of the conductors and as a result the ad current produces heat and increases the temperature of the inductor which is not at all acceptable or desirable this effect further increases with increase in frequency and to overcome these losses the core is divided into many thin sheets we call it as laminations and each lamination is separated by a thin layer of electrical insulating material so all this resistive property of inductor like wire resistance uh, the radiation the eddy current is generally expressed as effective resistance and this effective resistance of an inductor can be a serious problem for an ac circuit designer of course because of the fact that this resistance will produce undesirable effects well another problem with practical inductor is that the multiple turns of wire are separated from each other by some electrical insulation including air and here we have the potential for capacitance to develop between the two insulated turns and in such case the practical equivalent circuit of an inductor will look like this and in this case the inductor will not behave similar to that of the behavior we have seen in this video this would also impact the behavior of ac through inductive circuit and the result will not match with the ideal inductor so if you compare the result it would be similar to that of the rl circuit which we have already discussed in the ac circuit playlist now do this problem also exist in practical capacitor that we are going to understand in the next video and to get the update of the coming videos make sure you subscribe to my channel with the notification bell icon turned on 
Also, for more content on AC circuits, you can join my free course using the mobile app or the website. I'll provide link for everything down in the description. You can check it out for more details. If the video was helpful, then do click on the like button and also share it with the electrical engineers you know. So guys, that's all for this video. Uh, I'll see you in my next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.